time no see. I have Tyler here with me. <laughs> the last time we talked was the last time we traveled, which was California, February of 2020. A whole pandemic happened since the last time I came on here, but we are now traveling somewhere, so I decided I wanted to document it if for anything, at least just for our own memories. Um, but obviously I do appreciate anybody who watches. So we are on the road to where? Savannah, Georgia. Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> um, yes, so neither of us have ever been to Savannah, but I've heard that it's really pretty. And I think it's mostly just like, you know, restaurants and bars and things like that but I think it'll be a fun little getaway so um, we got McDonald's because I just needed something to prevent my hangriness and I honestly Ain't rarely eat truth. McDonald's <laughs> I rarely eat McDonald's but for some reason it just sounded like it would hit you know it's like a road trip tradition Okay, well, I am going to now do my makeup in the car because we are making a pit stop to see some of Tyler's family on our way up to Georgia. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you after. I'm back with my makeup done, except I realized that I forgot two things, pretty important things, uh, my eyelash curler and my setting spray. So we may have to stop by a drugstore and get some at least setting spray because that's pretty important. says this is St. John's River. What's the fun fact? One of the only rivers in the world that goes south to north. Most rivers wow. go north to south. This river said I'm built different. It's happening. We're leaving Florida. Bye. See you later. Okay, we're playing the TikTok got it game. Where basically you both say a random word on the count of three and then you have to think of a word that connects those two things until you eventually say the same word. We did a few rounds already and we did pretty good, I would say. Except for the first one. <laughs> okay, have you thought of something? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, gas TikTok. station. Okay, three, two, one, gas Internet. pedal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, internet? What does that have to do with Like I station? use it at the gas station for the cards and stuff. I don't think. <laughs> So we made it to our room. It was a little bit of a journey to get here. We were both kind of stressed for a moment because there was a lot of people walking around and it's kind of like a downtown area. So we were trying to figure out the parking situation, but we did and the good news is we'll probably be walking around most places from here on out. So we won't have to worry too much about that. But we love this. We got a loft at this hotel. It's a Hyatt hotel called and andes a n d a z i think and um it is super cute in here so i'm going to show you okay so when you walk in here to your right as soon as you enter is this bathroom and this light came on automatically how beautiful is that giant mirror you know i love it as well as this full body mirror <sighs> So good, can't wait for that, the pictures and that. And then kind of tucked away in the corner there is the shower. So then moving back out here, there's like a little lounge area. So 
Say hi. Hi. Uh, cheers. We got these complimentary drinks, welcome drinks. Um, so the little couch there, another mirror, again, love, and a little dresser. Then you have the bed, this TV, which does like stretch out and pivot if you wanted to watch it from bed or from the couch. <laughs> Look at the little monkey lamp. What is the one on the other side? Uh, oh, it's also a monkey. And there's a little bunny <laughs> on the wall there where Tyler has his jacket. But look at the view from our window. There's like a boat passing by back there. When we first looked out here, you can see the twinkling lights from the kind of patio area of our hotel. And over there in the distance, you can see a bridge. So pretty. We do have a little mini patio and these slots open. We wanted to let in some natural light. It's kind of tiny, but it's cute. Again, you can see the pool and the pretty view. My favorite touch here is the uh, toy cars that somebody definitely left. We got our complimentary drinks too. I got the champagne. What kind of beer was that? Do you remember? No. <laughs> Orange something. Yeah. It was a local beer, she said. So that was kind of nice, but we're here. We made it. Yeah. We made it to our first stop, which is Churchill's. Thank you, Vanna White. <laughs> and we just ordered some appetizers and drinks. Drinks are here. I got the In the Garden of Good. It has all things that I love in the oh, drinks. Good, not evil. You're good, not evil. Yes. And then Tyler got a beer, which is Southbound Scattered Sunwit. And our appetizers just came too. We got the spinach and artichoke dip that comes with non bread instead of chips, which I actually love that idea. And then the pretzel, of course. We had to do it. What's the consensus? I can tell you didn't like it at all. <laughs> we almost cleared our plates. We are back in the room now. We did get round two of drinks before we left. We didn't realize they closed so early at nine. We thought it was 10 o'clock, but I did get the Savannah refresher and Tyler got another beer. So I still have pretty much my whole drink left. This has vodka and Prosecco, simple syrup, and a couple other things. There's some blueberries too. So it looks really good, but um, most things seem to close at around 10. So we just decided to come back here to the room, finish our drinks, and just relax.
we are getting ready to head out to do a food tour we're super excited about since Savannah seems to be known for a lot of their food. This is a walking tour. It starts here at our hotel, so super convenient. So we're getting ready to go do that. Um, this is the outfit today. Honestly, I just realized most of it is Target. I don't remember where the shirt is from. The necklace is Amazon, but everything else, earrings, jacket, jeans, and boots are Target. So uh, there you have it. Okay, Tyler, walk us through our little pamphlet for the tour. Okay, so it just kind of goes over what we're gonna do. A little picture. <laughs> Nice little touch. And then it talk, goes through the six restaurants we're gonna visit. It doesn't say what we're gonna get though, to keep it a surprise. And then if we bring these back, we get discounts. Nice. On things. And then on the other side is some recommendations of other food places that they just think are awesome and worth recommending. So we'll That's probably try route. some of them out. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we got the shrimp and grits. You have to tell us what you think, Tyler. I got it without the shrimp. Mm. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. We cleared our plates, did not like it one bit. We are at B&D Burgers, and we are having something I'm kind of scared to try. It is an alligator slider. Mm -hmm. How is it? Good. Is the sauce good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it. I'm so proud of myself <laughs> for trying out something different. Uh, but, but it's actually really good. Super crispy. Love the sauce. It's good. So here at the Little Crown by Pie Society, this is the pork bacon roll. Comes in a little biscuit. It looks flaky and buttery. We're sitting in what they call the Instagram trap. Very pretty. These are the chicken empanadas with a garlic cilantro sauce that is apparently the star of the show from Meant to Be Mojitos. So cute. We also got mojitos because apparently they're the best in town. So our mojitos just came. It is delicious. Tyler's chewing the sugar cane to release the sugars and then you can put it back in. You guys, we made it to Forsyth Park. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I think so, it looks so pretty. Reminds me of Central Park in a way. Look at how pretty this fountain is with the statues and the flowers all around. Hello, we are back to the room. We have finished our food tour and it was actually very, very good. Our tour guide, whose name was Deshaun, I believe, um, he was really great. And what we didn't realize is that they stop and tell you some of the history um, of the squares that they have here and some of the statues and buildings that are around. So that was really cool, that was a plus and the food was really good and i'm shocked because there was a lot of things during the tour that i normally wouldn't eat um if it was you know the choice was left up to me but the fact that it was on the tour i just sucked it up and i tried some of the things and they ended up being better than expected actually um there were just two things that i don't think i got footage of one was the pork belly sandwich it was like a pork belly donut little slider um and but i do have a photo i can pop it in here um but also the lighting was kind of dark so the photo might not be the best representation and actually i did get footage of the last one the savannah bee company i think it was called um i did get footage there of what we had we sampled a few different types of honeys that they had and then had a little apple with cheese and honey on it um, to finish off the tour. Then for the grand finale, we got a little uh, takeaway bag here. Um, we all got this cookie. What is the flavor in this cookie? It's supposed to be like baklava. 
I guess, in cookie form. I don't know, it looks and smells good. Um, but overall, I think it was super worth it, the tour that we did. And I will link it below in case anybody is interested in going on it. We walked to Forsyth Park after that, just to check it out. It was cute, we just walked around for a little bit. It's not like the sunniest day out, it's kind of been overcast all day, but we went and looked at it and now we are back and started to get hot and we were getting tired, but we do have a plan to go check out some bars, so stay tuned for that. What was your favorite thing that you had on the food tour? The pork belly donut, donut slider. slider. That was it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the view from the rooftop bar at the Bohemian Hotel. Tyler and I stopped to have a couple drinks here, but look at this. We love this bridge. And there's some boats. Such a nice view. We are at a highly recommended place, Moon River Brewing Company. And I got a Riesling, I think that's how you say it, wine. I asked for something sweeter. And Tyler got... Wacky Wit. Wacky Wit. He loves it's wheat beers. Style wheat Yes. We are here, drunkenly, on the river walk. Look at that boat. All it took was two drinks. There's a boat. And we are headed to Huey's for dinner. It's just non-stop food and drinks here. <laughs> like we did our food tour earlier and apparently that wasn't enough. So we are going to get more food. <laughs> but mostly beignets. This cargo ship is sailing on by. It's freaking huge. Everybody's taking pictures and videos with it because it's such a sight. <laughs> this guy is so funny. Okay, where y'all from? Jersey or New York? Boston. I mean, he said Massachusetts. He said, oh, you said wrong. He's been drinking. How you pronounce it? I got you. <laughs> when people approach, you know he's going to do something. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we came to Huey's. We've done nothing but eat, of course, but Tyler has the salad here. That looks pretty good, actually. And we got some cornbread. Okay, I got the fried green tomato sandwich with a side of red beans and rice, and Tyler got the shrimp and grits. Second time having them today. <laughs> this is a bigger portion. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. I did not expect it to be this size. We just got back from, well, our day, mm -hmm. really, but Huey's is where we went to dinner. Um, I think I grew seven stomachs, because I'm not sure how I fit everything. No. In this belly right here. I'm gonna need to start eating healthy. <laughs> but we did get some beignets to go. Speaking of eating healthy. <laughs> Speaking of eating healthy. Um, so the shape is really interesting. They're like square little patties and they are drenched in powdered sugar, which I love. Um, <laughs> That healthy eating kick is going to go well for me, if you can't tell. So, we are going to try these. They're world famous, apparently. <laughs> aren't, aren't so many things, though. Everybody, like, just dubs themselves mm -hmm. the best or, you know. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. <laughs> it's like a cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm. 
<laughs> so, Universal Mardi Gras mm -hmm. beignets are better. Depends what you like. These are actually very doughy. Um, like more dense mm -hmm. with the cake portion. I feel like the ones at Universal are like light and airy. Yeah, more airy. Mm -hmm. A little bit more like hollow on the inside. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these can actually be pretty heavy. So I'm glad we just got the three. Daniel wanted to get a dozen. I didn't know. I thought they were going to be similar to Universal. I was wrong. You were right.